That's a wrap. That's a wrap, buddy. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> now stop celebrating. We gotta get our room time. Paige, you did an awesome job. Couldn't ask for a better director on the set. This is the first film I'm in, and definitely hope to be more. Thanks so much for bringing me back. It's great working with you again. And I just want to say thank you for doing the subject justice and really caring about getting quality shots. That is a wrap. On Anchor! Bye. <laughs> when I look back at the time when I was skeptical about making this film and found every excuse in the book not to make it, I feel really, really sentimental because the process has just been incredible. Being a part of this has been uh, transformative um, for me as a person. I think uh, I just there's so many ways we're acting or how I viewed acting or, or my contribution to film was completely changed uh, just by being an anchor. When I look back on, on being part of this, uh, I'm, th I'm thankful because I've gotten to meet some really cool people and go on to work with them on other projects. I feel like this role really, really, I got to really test myself and push the limits. So I'm really thankful for the experience. Being a part of this film was eye-opening. I really didn't know what to expect coming in and coming out of it, it surpassed my expectations. It was incredible and it's such a needed story right now. I think it always was, but I mean now if ever is the time to do it and get it out there. Hard subject material for anyone to grasp, especially me being someone who hasn't had to deal with anything like that. It's been a learning experience for me for sure and I've learned to be a lot more sympathetic to a lot of different things because you just don't know what's going on. I would hope that the film would help people to transition from wanting to know details and, and wanting to see how things could have been pre prevented and, and uh, needing to know whether something really happened. And I would hope that people would start transitioning to uh, uh, thinking about how they can support victims. I felt like we didn't need another film that talked about sexual assault to make you aware that it happens. Um, I think that everybody knows that it's uh, something very real that happens. Um, so I would hope that the discussion could start of or the thought process could start of how do I support people who've gone through that. Honestly, I hope people take away just understanding sexual assault more. It's such a prevalent issue, especially in high schools and colleges now, and people laugh it off as a joke sometimes, and I don't understand that. I would hope that um, nobody going into the film could like walk out exactly um, unchanged. Um, I hope that you know, people are either more willing to talk about it and maybe have a conversation, or if it's even just an inner dialogue of, um, you know, what would they kind of want to change. If anybody sees the film who has gone through a similar situation or is struggling, that they see that they're not alone, and that, sure, the world maybe doesn't handle it the right way, but there are people out there who understand and care and want to support you. I hope people can take away um, um, a lesson in just considering other people in their decision making. I mean, I don't think you should be a people pleaser, but if you're going to make a decision that's going to affect someone else negatively, I think you should really think the decision through and weigh the pros and cons on um, um, the, the risk and reward 